Thank you, Chair. Uh, fellow students, my name is Eamon Boland. I'm a fourth chair of BBS. Uh, I'm running for the Welfare Office. One of my main points is trying to empower the students. It's the students' union. A lot of students don't avail of services within the union. One way I'd like to address this is by running clinics. Instead of having drop-in hours, I'd work nine days a week, and once every fortnight, I'd go to the students. I'd hold clinics in the nurses' building for an hour, go around campus for an hour, go and meet the people. Another one of my points is lobbying, lobbying for grant reform. Right now, a lot of the time is spent by Derek uh, focusing on the hardship grants. I try and get a faster and simpler system in place, as well as lobbying county councils. There's a recession on at the moment, and education cuts and fees will be a problem. We'll have to push for student-led campaigns to lobby the government. We can't <coughs> promise anything. There's 26 county councils dealing with grants. You'll have to pressure every one of them. Also, improving. A lot of people think my novel idea of uh, Mojo and uh, Jorex instead of Mojo is false. It's not. It's empowering students. It's giving them the confidence they need. A lot of first years aren't familiar with this. <laughs> Welfare. Get people in the door. Finally, accountability. If I'm elected, I'll have a notice board on my door. What I have done, what I haven't done, and I've yet to do. Thank you. Thank you. It's purely about freeing up your time, a timetable issue. Um, I was currently on co op, and you, have, or, and you have to meet deadlines. So it's about making the time for yourself. Go to the meetings, assign, and again, it's about empowerment. Letting students know when you're available and where you will be, be available. If I have that free day, I can get people involved. It's about empowering students. The services are there, but it's to get people in the door to you. There's connect, there's that, uh, as well as that timetabling. It's just you, smart choose your time. Uh, I currently, this is my first year getting involved in the union. I was a class rep but I've been resigned because I missed uh, two consecutive meetings. I was also on the shop board where I introduced some changes and campaigned and worked as a four-year business student. I put forward some of my ideas, I pressed the people who were there and I tried to get change. Um, another one of my experiences, I was um, a tour guide this year for first years. Um, I, felt I learned a lot from doing it. I got empowered, I was able to help implement the first seven steps, learn about connect, chop, forward, and some of the services on campus. Thank you. Literally though, a lot of people don't get involved in the union. Nine out of ten people that I've shook hands with this week said, when is the vote? When are things on? It's about letting people have the information. I feel as well for officer, I'll bring that, I'll bring a friendly face to them. As well, it's about improving what's there. There's a lot of services that aren't utilised. A lot of people didn't know the welfare officer are free legal advice. Uh, I feel the other two candidates have kind of stuck with the status quo. You can improve, the services are there, but it's to get people using them. And that's the problem with the union. There's not that many people here tonight. If you could get more people involved, it would be better. It's for the union, it's for the people. Finally, accountability. I feel I've said how I'm going to do my policies, and I will implement them. If I'm in office, I'll have the notice board up outside my door, and what I have, I've yet to do, and what I will do. Thank you very much. Both